Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use export to share a code block. Imagine a file called mathfunctions.js. It contains several functions related to mathematical operations. One of them is stored in a variable, add. That takes in two numbers and returns the sum of them. You want to use this function in several different JavaScript files. In order to share it with the files, you need to first export it. So we say export a constant variable called add, which takes in two parameters of x and y, and returns the value of the fun the return value of the function where you add x and y. The above is a common way to export a single function, but you can achieve the same thing like this. You do it here, and then you export a object with the add function inside of it. After you export a variable or function, you can import it in another file to use it <clears throat> to use without having to rewrite the code. You can export multiple things by repeating the first example for each thing you want to export or by placing them all in the export statement of the second example like this. So export, add, and subtract. There are two functions related to strings in the editor. Export both of them using the method of your choice. Okay, so I would say the method of my choice would be to just type export and then in the uh, object, we're going to take uppercase string, and we're going to do lowercase string. Exports is not a function. Run the tests, and it looks like they pass. Now, what's the other way to do that? The other way that we can do this is instead of doing this, we could put export here. And And if we were to run the tests, they would pass as well. So those are the two ways to do it. Obviously, I don't think that adding export to each one is as nice as just being able to say um, export uh, uppercase string and then lowercase string. So this is the one that I would go with, um, especially if I was making an application. But we'll learn more about that in the future. So run the tests, they pass. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.